Hello coffee lovers. Uh, today we are here to go through the installation of the Poemia uh, tune-up kit, the Seiko Poemia. Um, this comes with five parts, comes with your brew head gasket, the screen and screw, um, and your boiler spring and boiler valve. Um, so first thing we're going to want to do is remove all the accessories uh, so we can flip the machine over because uh, that makes it really easy when installing a brew head gasket. Uh, so we're going to take off our water tank lid, our water tank. We have a nice pre-ground scoop in here with a basket and another gasket for that basket. Um, and then we have our drip tray and grate. Get those out of there. And our port filter. Uh, it's something that you'll notice to let you know that you need to install this tune-up kit is if like if you're pulling a shot and coffee or water is pouring over the top edge of your portafilter. That actually means that this brew head gasket is failing. Um, it's no longer making the seal between the portafilter and uh, the gasket. So that's one indicator that you would need to install uh, a tune-up kit on your machine. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, this has got a nice brushed stainless steel finish on the top, is we're gonna put down a couple towels so we can flip this over. And if you've watched any of our other tune-up kit videos, you can see this is very common to put something soft down to make sure you don't scratch the top of your machine. Um, and if you've ever installed a brew head gasket with your machine upright, you, you'll understand why this is an advantage. Okay, so first thing you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver and a short one's really helpful because there's not a lot of clearance in here. So the first thing we'll do is remove this screw. And when we remove this, it's, the screw will come free obviously and also the screen. So there we go, we'll get this out and well, then we'll see our screen. Some people like to soak these and then have two screens on hand, which you can totally do. As you can see, this is the machine out of our showroom. Um, you know, this screen is pretty gunky and it's, it's in need of a new one. Okay, now that our screen is off, we have this, uh, this boiler bushing that needs to come out. Um, and you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to do that, and it's, we have this tool here that's really wide, but essentially all you want is the widest flathead screwdriver you can find. Um, because as you can see, these two channels here on each side are, are very far away from each other, so you need something really wide to get to it. And that is why we have this. Um, there's been feedback from customers too that some coins work like quarters, anything you can find to get into those two channels and then to remove it. So I got this loosened and now it's on its way out. And this piece that I'm currently unscrewing, the bushing, is not replaced in the tune-up kit. It doesn't really need to be replaced. It's all it's doing is uh, housing the spring and ball valve. So you want to keep that close by. I'm going to leave that right there. And as you can see, we are finally to the, the spring and valve and that, those two pieces are replaced in the tune-up kit. So now we have four out of the five parts removed from the machine that we're uh, replacing. So the next thing is, is the brew head gasket. And this is always fun, getting these out. The only thing that's holding in a gasket is friction. Um, it takes a little elbow grease to get them out. That's something you should keep in mind while taking it out. Now, as you can see, there's a nice little, they kind of, this is here to help you remove the gasket, this groove. Um, so you should kind of start there and then you should also use the portafilter channels in your brew head here to your advantage. There's more space there so try to fold it that way and take it out through there. But we're just going to kind of get after it here and see what we come up with. And obviously since we're replacing this part we're not too worried about the condition of it after we remove it. So we're just going to work at it and get it out. You're going to find different ways at home that make it easy to get out. Sometimes I like working on the outside edge. I've heard from technicians here they like working on the inside edge. So it's kind of whatever your preference is. So I'm working on the outside edge here and on that back portafilter channel. And as you can see I'm getting a little success here. I've got it about a quarter of the way out now just using this really narrow uh, flathead screwdriver. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of coffee on this gasket. Who knows what they're doing in the showroom? That's, that's a joke. 
Okay, there's our old gasket. They tend to get very brittle and dry the older they get and the more coffee that gets around them. Um, and then they start cracking and that's when you see the, the seals start to fail. So this one looked like it was in need of a replacement. Now there's a lot of coffee grounds there um, around, around the brew head. So you're gonna wanna get those out because it's very acidic. I just got a towel here and it's, there's actually still some water down there. And I might actually flip this over to get all those grounds out. Just really quick. Luckily this machine's pretty light. The coffee tends to be really acidic, like I was saying, and it will eat away at your brew head gasket. So it's just really good to get it all out while you're there. Just be pretty thorough. Okay, so now we're ready for our new brew head gasket. And just like when we removed it, um, we used these port filter channels to our advantage. Um, we're gonna do the same thing here. I, I always find that kind of folding it like this and kind of going in um, is, is, it works, it's very easy. Uh, Seiko's brew head gasket for this machine, it's also the same one for the Aroma and Via Venezia. Um, it's, very, it's very specific. You don't see brew head gaskets like this very often. Okay, so let's get this in here. Get it around the channels. And you might have to use uh, you know, a flathead screwdriver at this stage as well. But obviously, uh, you're going to want to be a little more uh, gentle with it because you don't want to hurt it. And the cool thing about installing a brew head gasket is you can use your portafilter as a tool to make sure you have the whole thing seated down properly. As you can see, um, it is obviously specific to which side needs to be going down. Uh, your portafilter should be making contact with that, with that ridge side. So what I'm saying is it needs to be going down this way. This, this, port of, this brew head gasket will never work if you put it down this way. You need to see that level difference when you're installing it. Okay, so we pretty much have this brew head gasket all the way in. And like I was saying, what we're gonna do now, before we flip the machine back over, is just take our port filter, put it in place, and turn it, and we've essentially just put the, the brew head gasket right where it needs to be. I pushed it down a little bit, um, but our brew head gasket is now installed and congratulations, because that's the hardest part of the tune-up kit. <laughs> so, we're good there. Now, we're gonna take our new spring and ball valve, put those in to our bushing, and the other thing that's important about this this is just as specific as the brew head gasket. So essentially, you want your valve, this, the silicone part of your valve, to be touching the upside of the inside of that. So I'm gonna do that again. Once again, you want the valve facing down when you're installing this. You, should, you shouldn't see it once it goes in there. And I also like to put it in the bushing first. So we're here, it should be just like that, but you're gonna flip this upside down and put it in. So then you should be able to push down in it right there and I'm actually pushing down and the seal's hitting the other side. And I'm gonna start this with, I'm gonna start threading it with my fingers because it's just easier that way. So I know the threading is started. It's not cross threaded or anything, which can be easier to do on those machine threads. Um, now I'm going back to my flat head screwdriver here and we're just gonna tighten this in. We're just gonna finger tighten it. You do not need to um, go any tighter than that. As soon as it stops rotating, you should stop. Okay, we're good. So there's that. Now we're ready for our new screen and screw, which is probably the easiest part of the tune-up kit. We'll put our screen down first, and as you can see, it just fits right into the brew head gasket perfectly. Those outside edges, it, sh it should sit right there just perfectly and then our screw will hold that in place. And now we're ready to install that. And that is the entirety of the Seiko Poemia tune-up kit. And it's the same thing with this. You don't wanna to go too tight with this because you're just gonna be making it harder next time. Uh, the brew head naturally heats up and cools down very frequently and that can, you know, always be a little 
touchy with threads. It can tend to get very tight when it sees all those temperature changes. Okay, so that's the whole tune-up kit. Let's turn this back over and just, let's remove our towels here. Turn it back over, make sure our porta filter is lining up right. And we know we're good. Let's see here. It's always interesting doing this behind the machine. There we go. That's looking good. It's a little bit to the left because it's a brand new uh, gasket, but that, that, is, that is a nice newly installed tune-up kit. Uh, like I was saying earlier, you'll know you'll need to do this if coffee is pouring over the top edges of your porta filter when you're pouring a shot, um, coffee or water. Um, other things that you'll notice is if maybe you hear your pump working a little harder, that be, can be because you have so much coffee residue on your screen or in your porta filter that your pump is actually working harder to get through that pressure. Um, or a result of that as well can be your coffee just generally tastes off. If you're not noticing a, a difference in taste between two different blends, um, that can be because you have a lot of coffee residue here and that's affecting the taste of your shot. So if you're noticing any of those things, um, go ahead and purchase the Seiko Pumia tune-up kit and you'll be good to go. Uh, good luck. If you have any questions, give us a call at Seattle Coffee Gear. Thank you.